What's up YouTube and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I'm trying to record Subnautica on a different recording software in the hopes that... Ooh, medkit. Um, in the hopes that it will run a little smoother than my first episode, which I know was kind of clunky, a little slow, overall on where we wanted the quality to be. So we're just going to roll with it and see what happens. Now, in this episode, I'm thinking what we can do is... I have no idea. Let me see. Okay. What do we have blueprint-wise that we can do? Actually... I feel like there's something here for the radiation suit that we're missing. I want to go check the radiation suit pod real quick. Just swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep. No, no, no. Okay, no. Nah. Bad. There it is. Okay, I have enough inventory space to catch a couple of air sacs. I'm calling them air sacs. I don't care if they're called bladder fishes now, they're air sacs. They will always be air sacs to me. Alright, so. Back in a moment. Okay, so we made it over to the escape pod. Now I'm just looking to see if there are any pieces of the. <laughs> Alright. Oxygen. Oh, and this is what happens when you don't make sure you're breathing, everyone. You very nearly drown. I'm sure that egg is fine. There we go. Now we have a whole radiation suit, and now we won't get irradiated whenever we try to go near that thing. Now, I don't know if it's changed at all, I don't think they have too much mess with the Aurora because it looks pretty much the same as it did before. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to get inside the Aurora and try to fix the engine room, I think is what the room was before that you had to go into. and mess with everything, so I will do that with that fancy repair tool that we made in this in the first episode, but I'm thinking, actually, we'll work our way up to getting to the Aurora, because it's going to take more than me just swimming over there, because there's a lot of nope in that direction, lots of nope, so, play message. Play message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. Well, that's something I can look forward to, I guess. they ever actually make it. Mobile vehicle day. So a titanium ingot. Some lubricant and a power cell. So f that takes two batteries and a silicone rubber. Alright. And then lubricant is three seed clusters. So it's five seed clusters so far, I think is what that number is. Five seed clusters, two copper, four mushrooms, and ten titanium. Huh. We have a new message. Yo, what's up? It's just an automated distress signal. I mean, I don't think I've been over in that direction, so that could be used to our advantage. Now, what I'm thinking of is I'm going to drop these... Actually, no, 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 better idea. I saw... I'm gonna make a couple waterproof lockers and just keep some stuff in them. My inventory is too full to have a locker in it. Um, there we go. That should be a little better. Okay. So, go right here. Set it right here. Edit locker label. Let's, let's name it. Bread. Red is red. Yeah, get it. <laughs> anyway, we'll make another one. <coughs> huh, hey, we have another.
the new message. I wonder who it is this time. Life pod 17. Doesn't look like they're doing too good either. Sea Moth Bay collapsed around them. Do not as attempt rescue without laser cutters. Alright, so maybe we can find a living person. Maybe they added that. I don't know. I don't know. And we will name this locker. Let's name it Gary. Patricia. We need a we need to get a Patricia up in here. And we'll make that one purple. Perfect. Alright. So whoop. Oh, Fred. Okay. So we'll put these in there. And these flares and the fire extinguisher in Fred. And then what we'll do with Patricia is we will put these lab equipment and all of this quartz in free up enough space to hopefully be able to start getting things going the way they need to be going. If that made any sense at all. Probably not. Anyway, okay. So what did we need again? So we're gonna make a mobile vehicle bay and hopefully that sea moth we scanned in the last episode, if we got enough pieces for it. So we need a titanium ingot, a lubricant, and a power cell. That means we need... what was it? Five... creep vine seed clusters. Alright. So let's start with that. Is that Philbert? Martha? Or is that... A, no, that's a different one. Um, George. You're George. Hello, George. Nice to meet you. I like swimming over here. There's a lot of nope in this area. I mean, it could be worse, but... Okay. I like how it got dark out of nowhere. The, the light is much better. I, I like sunlight. Sunlight is good. Okay. So let's go ahead and stick these in. We'll start using the storage container as, like, the containment unit for all of the pieces of things we need for building. Except maybe the titanium, because it looks like we don't have enough room. And then we'll go here. We'll make another one of these lockers, just because we have three titanium, and it's a kind of awkward number of it to be holding on to. this one Alexander. I don't know why Alexander specifically, but, you know. Uh, Alexandra? Okay. And we'll make this one blue. Bam. Look at all of the happy locker family. Alright. Gonna cook up a few filtered waters. Yes, cook water. Perfect. Out of these bladder fish. And now on to collecting some titanium. Oh, and four of these. There we go. And then let's see. Titanium. Be back in just a moment. Okay, so here's a piece. Over here. nearby. Some sharks nearby. I don't know if that's their actual name, but I'm gonna keep calling them sharks because they look kinda like sharks, I guess. More like crocodiles with shark tails. Close enough. Oh, there we go. Two more pieces. And boink. And a yoink. Alright. Now we shall return to the the, the, the life pod. Life pod. Nate. It's not that hard. It looked like it was smoking from far away, and I was like, um, excuse me. I shouldn't be doing that. Oh, here's another air sack. It looks slimmer and weirder from farther away. Okay. So now, 
to the pod, and we should have enough resources to actually just make everything we need. Just go up in here. Switch some of these around. Actually, if I put this air sack in here, I think I have all the components to just make it right here. Okay. So we'll go in here, make a silicone rubber. <coughs> Condense that down, get a lubricant going. Make that. Make two batteries. Turn the batteries into a power cell. Okay, we got it. Alright. Let's pop this sucker out. Holy crap, I can't see anything. There we go. Now, clap. Okay, what can we make in here? Seamoth. So we need another titanium ingot, another power cell, another lubricant, but this time we need glass. So. I'm just going to cut ahead to when I have all the materials and I'm standing right here again and building this thing just to save time and not have another half hour long episode is the goal. Oh, wait, we have a new message. I will cut to there after we listen to the message. Life pod 19. Captain is gone. He's assumed command. Scans drove show dry land a kilometer south of the crash site, stay together and regroup at the rendezvous. That's all good and well, but I don't have a compass, so I don't know which way south it is, and I cannot make a compass. Awesome. Okay. So that means we're just going to keep wandering around, because I don't know where south is, and swimming around aimlessly, even though I've been doing that the whole time, is a good way to get myself killed, which I've almost done any already to begin with. But, beside the point, I'm going to get some more stuff, and then I will be back on the Seamoth. Or, vehicle bay, making the Seamoth. <coughs> oh, jeez. sharks and running away for my life from poisonous gas all the while still trying to collect one more freaking cluster of creep vine come on come on okay 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 yes okay titanium not so good i need copper be back when i have that we meet again fish powder? No? Then I don't care. There's another one. Hi there, hi there, hi there, hi there, hi there, hi there. Hi there. That didn't feel very good. Huh. He's in chunks all over the place. Oh, it blew up the egg. Huh? Well, not my problem. Give me your powder. 
Okay. Oh, there's a whole new slew of them. Um, Alfred Robert and Knight. Um, Knightley. Alfred Robert Knightley. Yeah, they'll just be a trio that only makes sense if you put them all together in their name. dark in here. Copper. Oh, he's trying to steal my gold. Too bad I don't actually need the gold. 30 seconds. Thank you for the 30 second warning. Long time you're actually- whoa, okay, okay, okay. Hi there. Hi. Hi. You almost got me gassed and killed. Good job. You have failed me. You need a name. How about Darlene? Alright, Darlene, you failed me again. Whoa! Hi there. Hi. 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 Okay. Thanks for that. Oh. Did he blow a hole in this? I think he did. Huh. No powder, though, so I don't really care. I don't even know if I can use the powder for anything else. I think I'm just collecting it now out of spite. Alright. Um. Still no copper though, so. Be back once more. Aha! There we go. Okay. Back to the sea. The life pod. Back to the life pod. Such a simple thing to remember. Life pod. Ah. Uh, okay. Be back in a minute. Alright, so we are back. Let's go ahead and make the lube. The rubber. All the titanium. Titanium. Alright. Ingot. Convenient condensing of 10 things taking up a ton of inventory space. And then. starting to go down pretty quick. I'm wondering if maybe it just I need a better source of water. There is another water option in here. Bleach. Where do you get bleach? Salt and common coral samples. Could be worth looking into. Oh nom. Oh nom. Okay. And where is all my quartz? It was in... I think it was in... Say it was in Patricia. Yeah, it was in Patricia. I don't need all of it. I just need the four. Okay. And then turn around my own skate pod. Glass. Some more glass. And I think that will be everything I need. A one person submersible. Fast and safe, try to continue to exercise. Swimming is fantastic for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh hey. It's four fission dudes. That's a nifty little bot right there. They just live in the Ooh. All right. I'll jump off here. Oh, it's beautiful. Upgrades. Huh. I guess it has upgrade slots whenever. However, we do that. It's so shiny and pretty. I don't know what to call it though. Seamoth is such a standard name. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello. Oh yes. This is going to be very good. 
All right, so that about wraps it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, leave a like down below. Comment if you have any ideas for the next episode. In the next episode, we will actually be going to the Aurora this time instead of me saying we will and then not. And that's all I got for you. Corbinator out.